Good morning everyone! Welcome to the third and final Disneyland Paris vlog. We are outside Sequoia Lodge. We've just checked out. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's so gorgeous. It's actually a little bit chillier this morning, but we're not mad about it. Yeah, you can see a breath. But we've just dropped off our luggage in this little room here, right at the front of the hotel. It was really easy, wasn't it? We yeah, find easy. that the luggage service has been really good. It was the same at Perfect, um, Newport Bay as well. We could have apparently left our bags in our room and phone down and all that stuff but we just wanted to get him down and we were coming down here anyway weren't we so that was a golden forest perk for being yeah. in a golden forest room is that they take your luggage for you yeah that's all done we're now going to go to our golden forest lounge for our buffet breakfast we've been covering all the perks and sharing what we've thought so far in the vlogs if you've been watching but i think overall just as a little summary i personally think if you can get the right price mm. if you like fiddle with the dates and stuff and it's not too much of a extra expense it's been absolutely worth it really good Really, really good. good and this morning we're doing a photo shoot we had a lovely girl reach out on instagram i'll leave her linked below and she said she wanted to do a shoot for us and i said let us book you in we want to book you we want to pay for your services please do some photos for us we thought that'd be a really good idea so we'll show you and talk about that experience when we do it yeah. but um breakfast first and then we're meeting her at 9 a.m so no let's go. go quick breakfast that was lovely had beans on toast and some mini crepes i didn't have breakfast pudding today breakfast pudding that's what yeah. we call it when we have savory then sweet yeah it was really nice it was a bit busier in there today because it is quarter to nine and we were there a bit later yesterday yeah. but still a much quieter atmosphere than the other alternatives for breakfast so very happy love sequoia lodge it's been good to us so far yeah i've enjoyed it yeah really good anyway now the we're butter oh is it president's butter president's butter best part of the trip so far what <laughs> the butter the, honestly the but it's like when you go to jersey and you have jer proper jersey butter okay the, the butter's been great so far i've noticed okay i'll make sure you have enough <laughs> <laughs> okay our last morning going in we're gonna find our lovely photographer first she's by city hall and i like it this time in the morning because the lights are all on yeah it's quite pretty oh. look at that nikki and minnie are up there <laughs> oh <laughs> Right, we've just finished our fabulous photo session. That was so fun. I didn't film yet, but she was so lovely. I'm gonna put her Instagram down below for you, but she was so lovely to work with. She did loads of spots for us, and we ended up picking 30 photos, so she double knows what the we were park meant to. So well, doesn't she? she does, she knows yeah. Little, those little, little nooks and that that we really enjoyed. Yeah, really, really good. So massive thank you, Yen, if you're watching. We're now gonna carry on our part day because it's about half past ten now, isn't it? Do you want to do the maze or do you want to do Big Thunder? Should we have a look at Magic Park? Big Thunder, Big Thunder now. Big Thunder is 15 minutes, Pirates is 5, Hyperspace is 5. We just met a lovely couple, their names were Clay Wait. and Petter, and they were from Australia, and they did us a little bag of goodies. Look how cute that yeah, is. Koala bear in there, so fun. <laughs> so sweet, thank you so they much. They really lovely, weren't they? Really lovely, we and love I, meeting people. I don't know what it, there's an actual word for it, but as soon as I meet any, like, Kiwis or Australians, I just instantly hear, oh, yeah, gang. I, just, I can't. You become Aussie. Like, I can't. <laughs> okay, as we're right by it, we're gonna go and do Phantom Manor. What? What's wrong? Oh, what are they queuing for? <gasps> Mickey's in there. Oh my god, he's so cute. 10 till 12.30. We've got to meet Mickey. Come on, it is actually a crime if we don't meet Mickey. <laughs> it's nearly our turn. We've waited about 20, 25 minutes for Mickey, which isn't too bad considering the meet Mickey spot on the other side of the park is like 200 minutes because so obviously he's here and then he'll go on the other side, won't he? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Mickey, it's so good to see you. <laughs> How are you? You look very dapper in this outfit. Very, very dapper. <laughs> Can we take a picture? Yes. <laughs> This was the moment I realised I was only wearing one glove on one hand. <laughs> okay, we've met Mickey and now we're going back round to go into Phantom Manor. It's a five minute wait, so off we go. Five minutes. Probably going to take ten minutes to walk there though, isn't it? We're not huge fans of Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World, but Benji's never done this version, so we thought it'd be quite fun to see what he thought in comparison. You don't have any sort of wait inside. It's a wait outside and then straight in the first room. No windows and no doors. This chamber has no windows and no, no doors. doors. You know the level on Mario Kart that's in the Haunted Mansion? Yeah. It looks like that, doesn't it? It does, yeah. 
<laughs> that is a really good way to describe it. <laughs> so good. There's so much detail to look at. There you are, Bench. Is that me, is it? Yeah. You're, in the, you're <laughs> the one in the grave, then. You're in the grave. Le facétieux revenant ont interrompu notre visite. Honestly, I said it at the start, in the first reel, I said, Tell it's been an awful ride to get stuck on, isn't it? Well, you jinxed it then, didn't you? We're stuck. We're I stuck. bubble, bubble, toil and trouble then. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Mary. <laughs> Apart from getting stuck on it, what was the verdict? It was fun, I enjoyed that. Yeah, it's better, isn't it? I, I reckon anywhere up to 14 year old me would have been terrified on that. I used to have a massive phobia of mannequins yeah. and like, animatronics. So I'd be like, no. Nah. I think that one's really good. It's really neat. It's a nice length of time. Yeah, it's a good little ride. We were going to go on Big Thunder, but it's currently 30 minutes. Don't really want to wait 30 minutes. We're going to do the maze, don't we? Let's go and do the maze. Yeah, we're going to do the maze. We haven't done that. Maybe food time. I'm quite fancy a snack. Maybe a bit of lunch. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm more lunch than snack. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we do can do, do that. Do you sandwich? Yeah, we can go to Earl's sandwich. <laughs> Ola sandwich. For this trip, we haven't watched either of the shows. That's The Lion King. It's called The Rhythms of Pride Land. Or Mickey and the Magician, which is over in the studios. They also have a couple of other shows, like a Frozen one and a something Dizzy Junior. The best two are Mickey and the Magician. And the Lion King one that's here, just past Big Thunder, around that corner. Lion King is number one. It's so Amazing good. Amazing if you've got to do it. If you're a first timer, or you're not a massive rides person, definitely go and see the show. We showed it in our last vlog series. But it is brilliant. One of my friends is coming next week and we've done him a little cheat sheet, haven't we? And that was yeah. number one on the cheat sheet of Gotta Do Lion King. Don't worry, I'll put it in my best of Disneyland Paris video for you too. Look how short the wait is for Captain Hook. That could be fun. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> nice to meet you. I married a lost boy though. <laughs> <laughs> that was such that a was fun really meet. Fun. It's <laughs> always the random ones that, are, that we enjoy the most, isn't it? And it only takes five minutes when they just stand there like that. Yeah. So good. Told him that Benj was a lost boy. You might have seen that. He wasn't very happy. Told him to go away. Yeah. Get rid of him. <laughs> I should have showed him my hat with the pirate flag on it. Yeah, the I know. We forgot. Right. Now we're heading over to the maze. Okay. It's time finally to do Alice's Curious Labyrinth. What we've been calling the maze. It actually looks fairly busy. What's this all about? Why is there a queue? I have been in here before, a long time ago though, and it is really fun for photo ops. We've got loads of bits and bobs all around. We've got to try and get to the tower so we can see the view. It's not actually much of a challenge, is it? It's more of a windy walk. A walk, a windy walk. Look at the little feet moving, that's so sweet. <laughs> It shuts at six. I think it'd actually be nicer at night. It would all lit up if they had all like twinkly lights in the hedges. I agree. That'd be really fun, wouldn't it? I guess it's like safety reasons. People could get lost in it if it's dark, I don't know. That's probably why they close it. It's only open during the day. You just walk, don't you? Just, don't you have to pick or choose a left or right? Well, that's the exit, the unbirthday party. Or we could go through the Queen of Hearts maze. Oh, so it is a maze. Okay, maybe this one's a bit more, this is harder bench, because look, this is the actual maze. The view is also really cool up there. This is actually a lot longer than I remember. It's been going on for a good 10 minutes. Oh, we're nearly there. So what a way to get your steps in. Yikes. Okay, this is going to be a challenge, look how small it is. The stairs are tiny. Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. We can go up even higher too. This is the view from the very top. They've got a little train ride over there. And then if I shimmy on round, you can see it's a small world. It's having a bit of a refurbishment at the moment. And then across fancy land, the castle. Love it. So pretty. There are two rides back here that we've never done. They are definitely more designed for children. There's like a small little train. It's quite slow and just very cute. And then there's like a little boat ride as well down there. I've never done that either. What would you rate the maze? Unrateable. <laughs> It's fine, it? It's right. It was too I just, crowded. I'm really frustrated by people that won't wait their turn. I know. They're not pushing, and it's just, oh, I just. No queuing. 
know. It's a bit of a shame, but Especially yeah, it was when busy. You're climbing up small staircases, you know, people trying to push up the inside where it's yeah. really one person only. Yeah. Oh, look, we, uh, Queen of Hearts, oh yeah. So it's ten past twelve. We're gonna go and see oh, Dream and Shine parade. brighter. Yeah. Ready for the ride. And we're gonna try and see it right by the castle on near the platforms. We're gonna show you the best spot if we can get one because it starts in 15 minutes. And it is a very busy day today because it's a Friday. So lots of people have come in for a long weekend. It has been so quiet for us, hasn't it? The last yeah, we've been few days. Here, and this so. morning was quiet. It just seems to be busier now. But we'll go see the parade and then we'll go and gra grab some lunch because we're both really hungry. Dream and Shine Brighter is the 30th anniversary one. And the best place to watch it is here. <laughs> right by the castle and the reason for that for this parade in particular is because the characters get off of their parade floats and they come on these big podiums and they dance now most people will run down main street and see it coming down main street don't panic it will come you just gotta be patient it would be quite nice to have the castle in the background for photos so this is going to be our spot today but there are actually four podiums so there's one there another there and another one there so I guess standing behind that side, you'd see a bit more of all of them, but the characters do rotate. They have different characters on each podium. This is a good little spot for us. Ready, ready for the ride. We picked up uh, Coca-Cola last night. With our Sequoia Lodge soft drink. Mm. Sometimes that just hits, doesn't it? They didn't have diet, so we've got... No, it's diet. No, it's not. Coke Zero. Coke Zero. I thought I'd also show you how to get to the showtime. So you bring up this area of the app on the home page. You click view calendar and then you scroll down and you can see all the different shows so you can see here dream and shine brighter and then it will tell you all the different times it's on uh, so this one runs a few times every day and you can even view it on the map and you can also get directions which is great this app is actually really quite good the sun has come out just in time for the show perfect open our hearts and believe in our dreams Hello. Take it from me. Look at the bubbles. Okay, we're going in the shops now as we leave. This one's called Harrington's. And it's where they have Pandora bits. It's very quiet in here, actually. I really like it, really. Yeah, do you know they're what it is? They're nice size, aren't they? They're nice size, they're light, and they're really affordable, and there's a real mixture of characters. Can you check how much the Mickey is? 19 euros. Yeah. Not horrendous price. No, it? and you get a nice little statue, because some of them are quite expensive. Oh, they even have Lumiere in here as well. They're all, as well. They're all in there like traditional poses. Yeah. They're not like too forward like that. It's how you imagine. These are so cute with Pooh and Piglet. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. And look at these decorations as well, the Christmas decorations. Oh, that's nice. I have this one already. Yeah. I think it's nice. Well, we haven't really loved them much here. No. But I think this is quite nice. It's I like agree. that in between level of like an ornament, like a Christmas ornament, and then like one of them like glass things. That like it's more like some of these big on ones. Liquid, yeah. yeah. I love these decorations too. Like imagine having Lumiere and Cogsworth matching on your tree. And something like this is also 19, no, 18 euros. These are quite cute if you have um, rucksacks that you want to put badges on, not pin badges, like as in, you know, normal button badges. Do you know what? I'm tempted by that every time we come. I love it. That Mickey on the carousel. We'd have to spend the whole journey home holding, him, like, holding the box like that. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at that, you know. <laughs> I really love him. Where would we put him though? Do you know what I mean? I really we love him. Buy, we, we have to, we've got to buy him a bigger house. Bigger house. Yeah, we've only had it for a <laughs> Bigger house already. So we can display all these things. Look, it's lovely. There's so many nice things. Oh my gosh, I want it all. Oh, they are Star Wars ones. Any good Funkos there that we haven't seen? No, just that Mickey and Minnie. I'm not, not sold by Funkos. No, I'm you're not bothered by them, are you? Benji, you buying me a tiara? I've got a tiara! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and these ones as well. Look at these. Oh my oh, god. Look at Mickey with his hat. Yeah, I like that carriage, the Cinderella carriage. 350 euros. Wow. Mickey and Minnie are just under 10 grand. No. <laughs> <gasps> Macarons. Oh, I want macarons. macarons yes, I do. I do. You can't not get some macarons, right? Mm -hmm. So we're getting. Vanilla, salted, butter, caramel, and raspberry. And they're $11, and you get five, you get the sixth one free. We've got our macarons, I'm very happy about this. So we've tried the Rice Krispie Treat and the cookie in here, and we weren't a massive fan. I would like to try a cake pop, though. They sound quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna try one of the cake pops, because they look quite nice, and we'll see what they're like in comparison. This was two pounds something, it was like two euro 50. And I'm gonna try it and let you know if it's any good. Be right back, because I gotta film it for Instagram first with my Instagram husband. <laughs> How's the cake pop? Really good. It is good, isn't it? Show us um, the inside. Can't, not brownie. It's quite a tight bake, isn't it? It's really nice. I like it. Dense bake. It's, it's tasty. It's, nice. it's really nice. Better than the Rice Krispie and the cookie. Definitely. I have just changed my outfit again. You know, got to get all the different photos with all the different outfits. But it is time, Bench. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, Castle. See you soon. See you Actually, soon. don't know when. Don't know when, don't know when. Don't know when. So we're not gonna quite finish the vlog yet. We're gonna carry on the day. We're gonna go and get some quick service lunch. So we're gonna show you the tax refund uh, system. Because we have left the EU now, we can get a tax refund on merchandise. I'm honestly not 100% sure how or why this works. I don't understand works. the politics of it. And I've been giving this tip out all year, so I'm gonna finally do it myself. And the main place to do it is City Hall, oh. but apparently you can do it at Disney Fashion as well. So we're gonna try that because we already walked past City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> but if we have to walk back in, we will. But we're gonna go and have some lunch because we are hungry. We're just walking past Annette's. This is a diner here in Disney Village. You can't miss it, it's huge. We haven't eaten here before. I Actually, that's a lie. I think I have eaten here a really long time ago. We can try it if you want. It's a bit more of a sit down meal because we basically, if we eat Earl of Sandwich, we'll be done in like 10 minutes. So we were gonna eat in Earl of Sandwich here, but they are good for a quick service, a little light lunch. But as we're not gonna be eating for a while because we've got a long yeah, travel. Until we get back to London, really. Yeah, it's a long travel ahead of us. Here's the menu here. Oh, we're just gonna look in a couple of these other restaurants that they have around here. So they've got Rainforest Cafe. All right, okay, we're, this was not in the plan, but <laughs> let's go in here. I used to love this as a kid. Yeah, this was one of my favorite restaurants. Obviously, this is great for kids. Best merch in the park. <laughs> Best merch in the park. I mean, it's quite cool in here. Look at that, oh my gosh. We haven't got a res reservation. Don't think we need one, it looks quite quiet. This is our little table right next to this elephant that is actually blinking. It's great for kids and they do loads of jungle noises. We always plan things. We don't do what we planned. We do a completely random thing and really enjoy it. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. We'll give you a critique of what we think. This is the menu. It's pretty much got a bit of everything. Seafood, meat, salad, pasta, and burgers. I think I'm quite keen on a burger. Yeah, same as that. I might go for the Rainforest Burger. And you're thinking of maybe the Louisiana? Chicken Louisiana Burger, I think. Okay. Highly doubt that the 
steak is anything to rave about so I think we may pass that one we are actually having a nice anniversary steak dinner is it next two, week or week after because we're celebrating being together for six years six years so that'd be Blimey. nice okay we're having some cocktails i've got a pina colada of some description well, she probably drank the water down i thought like she was bringing in cocktails and i like it's a bit much oh in this <laughs> yeah. okay. what have you got um, i have a tropical storm try it then let's see cheers Cheers to a good holiday. That's really nice. Mine is amazing. It's like a strawberry milkshake. Strawberry smoothie, sorry, not milkshake. Oh my gosh, what is my hair doing? Happy girl. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to have two of those. Warm up, warm up, warm up your... I've only had a little bit. <laughs> warm up your insides for the rest of the day. Okay. Yeah, I'll be over here if you need me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> <It's been funny>. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what the burgers look like. They actually oh, smell good. pretty good. Yeah, I've got a beef burger, and Benji has chicken. So this is my burger. I swapped the bacon for avocado with Ben. It's quite basic, but it's nice. Like it does the job. The bun's soft, the meat's okay. You know, it's it's a nice burger. The chips are bad. I'd actually say it's a step up from basic. It's, it's, a, it's nice. a good burger. It's a good burger. It's a nice right. bun. Yeah. I think it's really good. It, yeah, it's. I wouldn't like run back to it's have not, it ever it's again. Not, it's but not a premium burger, but it's, no. it's nice. It's, it's, it's better than I expected it would be yeah. anyway. I was just saying to Ben that I'm very tired now really really tired but we met a uh, viewer on the way out and she said that we need our passports to do the tax refund so we may have to pause that so you have to keep watching because we need to go back to the hotel get our cases then go to the fashion shop in the village sort out the forms and then we'll go to the Eurostar and then we've got a long journey back to Bournemouth but we're just taking our leisurely time enjoying our last moments here on holiday and yeah that was good so mm -mm. right review of Rainforest Cafe really enjoyed it I was pleasantly surprised I was, but, but. Theme park prices. Theme park prices, 62 pound for that, 70 euros, so yeah. 31 pound each. But I guess cocktail was 12 euros. It's not horrendous, 23 for the burger. You can definitely eat cheaper, like yes. Ella sandwich would have been yeah. a lot cheaper obviously, but we wanted to sit down, we had gonna, a drink. We're not gonna eat until No, later nine. tonight. We might be able to get a snack in our golden forest later, mm. but. I don't think I'd rush to eat there again necessarily, but it wasn't a bad meal by any means. Well, I couldn't fault it. We're eating in the park, but it's only because we're yeah. coming out and coming back. Yeah, exactly. Now we're gonna go. Where are we going? Get your Starbucks. Oh yes, I said to Ben, I was flagging a bit, so gonna get a Starbies. So they've got a new menu. I've just ordered the caramelized macadamia oat latte. Just putting our coats on as there is a slight breeze. Walked around the corner and got hit by a big <laughs> gust of wind. We're like, nope. We did, yeah. We're on our way back to the hotel and we have had confirmation that we need our passports for the tax refund. The, the and physical we, passports. Yeah, physic, physical car passports and we can, definitely can do it in the fashion store so we're going to do that but I am just drinking my Starbies and it's delicious. That oat macadamia nut latte caramelised thing. <laughs> Some uh, words in there. Caramelised macadamia oat latte, there we go. We are back at Sequoia, it's three o'clock. Our train leaves in three hours. So we just have to get our cases, do the receipts and get over to the Eurostar. But we've got loads of time. Right, we've picked up the cases. We've been chilling in the Golden Forest Lounge and they do afternoon tea at four o'clock, but it is currently 22 four and we're actually gonna make a move now. So this is the Disney fashion shop, pretty simple. That is the name of it. <laughs> and it's here in the village opposite Starbucks and you want to go here where they make these t-shirts just on the other side I'm going to show you but we're going to go in there first so it's just around this corner and it's here okay so we couldn't do the tax refund because you have to have a minimum spend of 100 euros before you can process so they'll take the receipts they'll print a form and then we'll show you when we go through the Eurostar where you give that form in but we just didn't spend that amount of money we've talked about this but we just that mean didn't we have spent less than 100 euros on merch we spent 44 she said that's awful and just go back in the park <laughs> you know the mug we bought in Starbucks that doesn't count doesn't it's count Disney. because it's not Disney so it can only be Disney stuff Mouse isn't going to talk to us anymore is he 
can't believe we didn't spend enough money. <laughs> we didn't spend enough money to do the refund for you. But there we go, at least you know how and you can share this if you are the kind of family that spend uh, more than 100 euros on merch and outfits for your kids, stuff like that. It does all add up in terms of buying gifts. Trust me, we tried. We tr it just wasn't here. We did try. We did give ourselves some, you know, budget to buy some we bits. Saving our pocket money. We did, yes. But, um, we mowing the neighbour's lawn. <laughs> We might as well just go over there, haven't we? We're gonna go over to the Euro. We'll Eurostar find ourselves now. a little corner and we can whatever. Whatever, you know? okay. Here we go, here's the Eurostar entrance. That's where the parks are. It's nice and easy peasy. We are very early. You only really need 60 to 90 minutes beforehand in the little shop and you first come in. They do actually have Disney stuff and they have a few things I've not seen this whole week. I've just seen most of them. I haven't seen this mug, which is quite cute, isn't it? Like that and they have proper um, ears and just a few bits in case you wanted to get very last minute souvenirs or toys they have some things so we're going back the way we came check into the Eurostar and we're going to check in I don't think there is anything around here to be honest you can see it's pretty basic so we've just gone through security and forgive me for not being able to fully do it that's where you do it I believe but if you've had success with it and you've had a refund let us know leave a comment below so that others can hopefully have the same success to give you a little rundown of our travel home we're going from here to st pancras international then we're going to take the tube from king's cross to waterloo maybe actually a cab with a lot of luggage then we will go from waterloo down to Bournemouth, and then our car is parked there and we will drive home it's quite a long day well evening uh we won't get home until about 11 pm and it's currently fine so yeah long long travels ahead so probably won't show you too much but I will say goodbye properly and show you our mini haul at the end of this video. Just like that, we are back in London. I love how easy it is. We were just saying, I think we're gonna wanna do Amsterdam yeah, by Eurostar. Because of how easy that was, I think it's doable, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's just so, so smooth, but we're off to Waterloo, ready to go back to Bournemouth. It's the next day and I'm currently unpacking and I'm filming a vlog for you with all our unpacking and getting organised but we had a really successful smooth journey home and I'm just so grateful for this trip. It was absolutely wonderful. We had lovely food, we had lovely weather, we did loads of rides. Of course in three days you're never going to be able to do everything. There was still loads of stuff that we didn't do so we'll have to go back at some point. But like I said I'm going to work on that best of Disneyland Paris video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that but before i head off and say goodbye i just thought to show you the few things i bought it just isn't enough for a haul i'm finding the merch at disneyland paris not great right now i don't know if that's just seasonally they've got still lots of 30th anniversary stuff and the disney 100 collection but you can get that in the uk on shop disney so i didn't get a lot of stuff but i did get a few cute bits i only have three pins to show you the first one is the one that benji bought me in the hotel it's the 2023 with chip and dale we actually met them in disneyland paris last year so i quite liked this one they did have a mickey and minnie as well well, I don't know how much this was as it was a gift from Bench, but I love it. Then I picked up this one because Moana is my favourite Disney film. I have like classic favourites and then my newer favourites. I love Frozen and I love Moana. I love Encanto. There's quite a few films I love, but Moana is one of my absolute favourites and I loved the three of them together. So hey, hey and Pua. And then I also got the Waltz pin from the restaurant the special 31 this was 16 euros i can't remember how much this was so yeah this one was a little bit more expensive but i guess it's because it's like exclusive one christmas decoration we loved this in the christmas shop we always find cute things in there it's the one that's inside the castle so don't miss it when you go through you can go shopping in there and we got this it's Minnie mouse with noelle so she's holding the n and it says OL on the bottom, <laughs> Noel. But it's really cute and small and light, which is great for a Christmas tree. I really loved the gold glitter on her as well. And she was really affordable at 12 euros. A lot of them are getting bigger and heavier and more expensive. And it's quite nice to find little cute ones like that. Another little ornament I found, we talked about this a little bit in the vlog. Maybe it was in this one or the, the one before. They had these really great 
little ornaments that like i said were really affordable this was 19 euros and it is olaf sat on a stack of books i had to have this because i'm really into reading now at the moment and i just thought he'd be lovely on my bookshelf propped up next to my books obviously i need to take this off hang on that just hooks off there we go look at him that's so nice inside there's a really cute detailing of the fact the book is upside down it's a snowman painted on the inside in there it's really cute so i love that because it's nice and light and easy to bring back home as well and then the last thing i got was actually from starbucks it's one of their you are here mugs they sell these in all the disney parks around the world they have them for all the ones in florida i've never collected them before because i know that if i start i'd never stop but i couldn't help myself with this one because it's the special 30th anniversary i didn't want to get all the 50th ones in walt disney world because you just end up with so many but this is my first starbucks mug i don't own any any of these and I love mugs and I didn't get a nice mug in Florida recently and they didn't have anything else I loved so Benj and I agreed this is the one to get it's got a lovely purple inside and then this is the design Disneyland Paris with the 30 I love this so much look at it the colors are really nice actually i'm not a huge fan of all the merch in these colors but on the mug it works perfectly i really hope you've enjoyed these vlogs we're going to be doing lots of fun disney things over the next year there's a few things coming to london we're going to the disney 100 concert and we'll be sharing so many more disney things as we go along so make sure you hit subscribe check out my home vlogs and other travel videos and thank you again for watching we hope you enjoyed them and i'll see you again in the next vlog Bye!